Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you for returning if you are one of my subscribers and if you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Katie Rose. I do all things health, lifestyle and fitness, but I've started branching off into beauty as well because that's one of my passions. Update, I have a new backdrop. There is nothing, it's plain, it's boring because I've literally just moved house. So stay tuned, there will be a house update very soon. Anyway, so I've previously done a Bondi Sands clear tan review and I was really happy with it, it went really well. I was happy with the tan, never used it before. That video got really good feedback so I thought I would buy some more Bondi Sands that I've not tried myself. I'll link the video below from the clear Bondi Sands tan. If you don't know, I'm obsessed with tanning. I tan at least three, four times a week and I am pale now, I know I'm pale now, but I've literally scrubbed all my tan off because I'm in isolation, there's no point in tanning. I'm due to come out of isolation so I thought, I'm gonna get my tan on so I look good, you know? So yeah, anyway, so I have tried Dripping Gold, Bondi Sands Clear, St. Moritz, Garnier, I've tried every tan apart from Bondi Sands Dark. So this is the one I have purchased. And I think this was about 19 to 20 pounds. You may get it cheaper in like Asda and things like that, but I got this off Amazon and it is 200 ml bottle. I know I'm really pale skinned, but I do like to be dark and I do like it to be long lasting. So I have tried the medium before, but I thought, do you know what, sod it, I'm gonna go for the dark. So just before I get started, this one I sands is self tanning foam and it's got coconut scent with it and gives you an Australian image. Bring that right my way, hon, you know. So last night I had a nice hot bath. I proper exfoliated my skin, you know, with a really good scrubbing brush. And then I moisturized all my dry areas like elbows, knuckles, toes, knees, um, things like that. And then this morning I have put no deodorant on nothing on my face so it's just my skin because I've tanned that much I know that if sometimes if you put deodorant on and then you put tan over the top your armpits go green and we don't want that so this is the bottle and it's dark you can get light medium dark or ultra dark but I thought okay here, ultra dark's a bit much come on so I just thought I'd go for the dark so it does smell a coconut it smells exactly the same as the Bondi sand clear when you've done your tan, I feel like a boss ass bitch. I don't know why. Like I hate being pale and I do my tan and I feel like a different woman. So yeah. So what you need as well is a tanning mitt. Get yourself a really good tanning mitt because some of them are absolutely crap. Um, so I get myself a good tanning mitt. So got the tanning mitt and then I'm just gonna make sure you, you know all your dry areas have been moisturized again. Let's see what this looks like. It smells exactly like the clear foam. It smells like coconut and that's what it looks like. In my last video, I, I probably said this as well, but I absolutely love to pile the tan on because you can't do enough time with just saying, hon. So let's give it a go. Oh my God, it's freezing. I bet people are like, what is she doing putting that much tan on? But trust me, hon, I've been tanning for about 10 years now and I know you need to pile it on. So I try to leave the hands out and I'll show you a trick what I do with the hands in a minute. But make sure you get all underneath your armpit and then leave your hands, knuckles, fingers and face out and I'll show you. I mean, it's, real, it's applying really nice actually. I don't know if you can see, but with the Simmerits, it goes really streaky, but this actually doesn't. It's really, really good tan. So yeah, I'm just gonna apply this to the rest of my body. And then I'll show you what the finished product's like. So I've just finished the tan 
Um, I'll just put an extra layer on because I like to be extra dark. The, you can't really tell on this camera, but I am actually really dark, but I'll show you again in the morning. So I've not done my face and I've not done my hands because I find with the mitt you go really, really dirty. And you know, through the years I've got better at tanning. Anyway, so I get a brush and I just do one, two little squirts. Just go around the face like this. With the brush, make sure I'm blending in. And trust me, your tan will last a lot longer this way. And it won't be as streaky. So I'm just going to finish doing this. Right, so I finished my face. This isn't the finished project. It will develop like eight hourly. So what I do, what time is it now? You know, it's like 12 o'clock now. People leave it on eight hours and wash it off. I don't do that. I'll wash it 12 o'clock the next day just so it's properly developed anyway so i've done my face i'm going to do the exact same with my hands this is to make sure you've not got a different colored hands to your arms which i see loads of girls do so literally just another squirt and then just do around your hands and you can get in like the nooks and crannies here a lot better so just do that to your hands and as you can see it's a lot better and i'm going to do that one with the other hand All done tan's done and i've not tanned my belly just so you can see the difference but again i will show you tomorrow the finishing project the only thing with tan and um you know i'm gonna be honest this is an honest review i do feel very sticky like i couldn't put a coat on now i know i have to stay here and like waft um where with this one on my previous review i never felt sticky i didn't feel dirty i felt like i just put moisturizer on where with tans like this, I do feel sticky and I do feel dirty, but you know, you've got to go through what you've got to go through to get a tan. So I will see you in the morning when I'm bronzed. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. It is the next day. This is the result of the Bondi Sands dark mousse. Um, I was going to only wash it off this morning, but I actually washed it off last night probably about eight hours after application because I, it started going really dark and the stickiness of it i will be honest didn't go away and it was irritating me and i thought i can't get into bed with this stickiness so i got a shower about seven o'clock last night and then this is the finished product i'll just show you my stomach compared to my belly and um, so i've used two layers of this tan and it has worked and i'm really happy with it it looks quite natural but it's still a bronze look my hands and face are the same color so yeah um overall i really really like this tan and i'm really happy with it and i just want to say thank you for watching this um review i hope you like it give it a like give it a comment give it a subscribe and just stay safe and i hope everyone's doing okay in this lockdown see you next time everyone Bye bye